Navi gives a little ground, flexes a bit, and they're going to lose only Inspirer for two tanks and maybe even be able to pick up a little bit more. Ruster should go down soon. There is a reason Navi were the initial world champions. This kind of stuff is what they were used to. And now it's almost like, well, going back to riding a bike after having done it for a little while. They feeling natural about this. Kazda went for something different. Ill-informed, yes. Couple bounces for Eurofish as he came forward. Kiriloid is going to get jumped onto. If they can maybe trade a lightweight for an IS3, that might be worthwhile here. You can see they can't afford to make any more mistakes, and there's the hit. And you can see now Angel Kill and Aspire coming back around the rear just to continue to harass. They're just bit by bit, they're pulling Kazra apart at the seams. And now you can see how Navi is able to just turn that into a landslide. Kazna are a god-awful mess right now. This did not work out at all. Navi is all over it, and LD Nexus, well... He hits the deck. This is going to be very, very messy as well. Rusty gets hit as well. Ilya takes one. I think even Eurovision in the background. The fire's being split quite evenly amongst Kazakru at this point. Strike is managing to get behind. He hits the tree. He stops dead now. Down at Tolish. Power slide. Kuroid. They are going to stand and deliver. These guys have done this far too many times before to be put off this kind of fight. But here's the push in from Kazakru. There goes Ilya. And Neanderthal Tolish does drop as well. Slide. Got to get a few shots as well. Only Nexus is helping Eurovision pick him up. It's even. But Navi still with that slight lead. The, the huge risk to take this kind of game tonight. Oh, Nightmare's really in trouble here. Look how low he is, down to 2 HP. Monty makes light work of that, and now looking more blood at this moment. It's going to be Reflection next. Dower is surely going to be out raises. Three left here. Perfect way to start out, but can they close now? Can they lock this down? Dino gets out. Spring Nii Yu jumps in. It's all on Fox, and Fox is nowhere to be found. An outstanding player so far is going to have to step up for his team. Lock it down, deny this. But oh, he's been caught out. He does peel the first. Lovely little reaction shot there. This will be a big round. The spot comes out. The Tori turns. He gets the first. Oh! And the boys in Hellraiser plays it down. Oh, Reflection, he's been caught out so badly here. Three tanks have such a presence, but look about this. The backup has arrived. They're rolling in, but can they do the damage? Two tanks on the front lines here. Nesqui is going to be melted by Nice, and Nice is down to nothing. Quickly avenged by Near You, bailing out his brothers. But Spring is there, and it's back and forth all the way. Hellraiser's holding onto the HP, though. Not giving in just yet. Black's down to nothing. Lotho in the perfect spot to deny him. Monty takes the dominant shot. And now down to two. This is a bloodbath. The slaughter will begin any second now. The crest on the hill. They're going to be going head to head. This is huge play coming out. And actually, Hellrace is taking a lot of damage this time. But can they keep up? Look at these two just butchering each other down. Nesqui is low. But it's Kamiak to fall first to Black. And the precision coming out from EL Gaming is on point so far. Black finds another. Fox chimes in. They're holding on to the numbers. But can they keep this up? Can they finally get around the ball? Dying all so low. Nightmare's made it. Reflection taking one. Nightmare takes another. This is going from bad to worse. Dionor kicks it off into this round here. And let's see if they can take it all the way through. Kamiak the next on the chopping board. Dionor stands tall again. Snaps down EL Gaming. And I think Hellraisers are just on another level right now. They are ripping EL Gaming to shreds.